here though. My feet have been all over them, just so you know. It is! It's it's hollow! It's hollow inside! So we can use this as a straw if you absolutely had to. Welcome back to Life with Feet. I was actually at dinner last night and I asked the waiter, I was like, hey, can you bring me a straw? Because he didn't offer to me a straw like normal, you know, which usually you're at a restaurant and without even asking, they just present you with straws. And I was like, um, can you give me a straw? He had to go back into the kitchen to get me a straw and he came back with these paper straws. And I'm like, paper straws, the problem with paper straws is they kind of melt in your drink and they're not as, uh, I don't think they're as good as plastic straws. And I was just thinking about what's going on with straws these days. Did you know that they're having a, a straw ban in most of the restaurants in the US now? A uh, ban? Yeah, so a lot of the restaurants are banning straws because of the environmental issues that they cause. You can't actually recycle straws. Like the recycling companies will not uh, accept straws for recycling and they just end up like in the garbage or you know, hurting the environment. So the plastic straws are being banned, um, especially in like the east and the west coast areas because people will go to the beach, they'll take their straws with them, they'll throw the wrappers and you know, you know, cause straws are trash. So they end up in the ocean and um, you know, it's it's not it's not very good for, for the ocean and the environment. Well, there's nothing wrong with saving the environment. I think that's a wonderful thing to make you know, make an effort, yeah. but how is that affecting people with disabilities when they go out to public places like restaurants? I mean, for you and me, it's like, it's okay if we had a cup with a handle, but when you have a glass, which is typically the case at a restaurant, you don't have a handle, you don't have a coffee mug. Uh, what do we do if there's no straw there, you know? <laughs> have you guys heard of this this straw band? Uh, let, let us know like in the comments below because I'm interested to find out uh, how many people are affected by this straw ban and um, like what can we do to actually like yeah. fi either fix it or help out because people with disabilities, I know that uh, we, we need straws yeah. to, you know, at a restaurant. So do we have to bring our own or are they going to have like a special box of straws in the back for people with disabilities? Speaking of bring your own, I was in Manila, Philippines where my roots, my family is, and um, they were really big over there about banning straws in Manila, yeah. at least. And so my cousin brought me this little kit. Um, basically it's a straw kit. It includes a straw cleaner in it. That is so And I'm cool. gonna show this to you because I think it's a great solution. For some people, if they carry this around with them, but the only thing is you have to clean it every time you use it. And that makes it extra work. You know, you have to go back to the bathroom or wherever and use this little straw cleaner and like clean out the straw. But hey, this might be the solution for people is to carry on this monster. <laughs> that is a huge straw. That's like for uh, for Ipsies. I know, I know. Okay, there's a smaller version too. So it's, okay. it comes with a huge straw and then it comes with a little skinnier straw to help uh, make it easier to have an option. So anyways, I heard, and I don't know how true this is, that red vines can actually substitute the straws. Red, red vines. Red vines. I went to the store. I thought I should offer you a red vine. That's a Twizzler. This is a Twizzler! So I, evidently I bought the wrong thing, which explains why it's not hollow inside. I mean, Let's check it out. Look, I'll eat it. Here we go. My feet have been all over them, just so you know. It is! It's it's hollow! It's hollow inside! So we can use this as a straw if you absolutely had to. Check it out! So it's true! You have to eat both ends though. Eat both? Yeah, okay. There's a straw right there. If you're desperate enough, you don't have a straw, yeah, you can do that. It works. Okay, it's and true. And they're edible. And they're edible. So that saves the environment. There you go. There's a solution. They taste like feet. <laughs> so when I was like two or three, she put her hands behind her back and we did like these like little sessions where she would practice picking a cup up like with her mouth to like show me like this is how like this is how I do it or this is how like I would try to do it and so I'm like oh all right well let me try that and so I would you know, like learn how to pick up a cup with my Aww. mouth 
Um, well, we always used plastic cups, so that was like one of the things that I always had in my house is plastic cups so mm -hmm. that it didn't like hurt my teeth. So I learned how to use a cup without using a straw. Mm -hmm. Now in a restaurant setting, yes, a lot of the cups are made out of glass. So in those situations, I would require a straw. But I think that these metal straws that you have are like super awesome, especially this one. Like if I want like a freaking slushy, like <laughs> this is this is the one. <laughs> that I'm gonna I'm gonna go for. Mm -hmm. One of the things that happened to me, I don't know if have, have, has this happened to you before, but um, I was uh, visiting somewhere and I had a glass cup and not ever using really like glass containers before I tried to pick it up with my teeth because we didn't have straws. Yeah. And I didn't know that the glass was really thin and frail. It broke in my mouth and I had a mouthful of water and glass and I was I was like 12 I had no like I was so freaked out I was like do I swallow this because I like I can't get in trouble for spitting on the floor <laughs> uh yeah do not swallow or 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 do I spit it on the floor and get in trouble for like making a mess and like it was like a split second decision. I spit it out, uh, like washed my mouth out as much as I could to get the glass out, and I, you know I was fine. Thank yeah. God, I was smart enough not to swallow it, and then like go to my mom and be like, "Mom, I swallowed a glass." Yeah. She would have been. I think you she would have been awesome. more mad yes. that I swallowed the glass than making a mess on the floor. Because your hospital bill would have been more expensive than cleaning up that mess on the floor. Oh man, just Can like you imagine that. Thinking about yeah, the know. glass, like. <laughs> going oh. down just oh and then like it would have cut everything up like mm, no so like i'm very very cautious about like using glasses and making sure that i'm not picking it up with my teeth because that has happened to me before Ooh. and never wanted to happen again but i'm glad i was like safe and yes nothing happened and so uh that's a lesson from this le this whole video is just do not don't. Attempt that at home, especially if you don't know how fragile the glass is. Mm -mm, don't try to pick up glasses with your teeth. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, tell us your stories about uh, glasses and straws and yeah. what you think about this ban on straws. I definitely want to know what you guys think yeah. and like what your reactions are and if you have anyone in your family who uses straws and is affected by the straw ban. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and help us create more of these videos by going to patreon.com slash toetalks and subscribe. And if you want to see more videos, I would definitely check out the one where we go through the drive through It is hilarious <laughs> how we hand our money to the clerk and you definitely need to check that one out because it's, it's a good one. <laughs> Bye! <Okay. laughs>